Hello and welcome to Refreshers, the show where we take a sneaky look back at a different group of university students each week. Now this week we are at the University of Greenwich where our three lucky students have agreed not only to go through their very first experiences of university life live on camera, but also to have their parents watch it back. Ouch. Now our three lucky students this week are Steve, Jack and Lauren and joining me in the studio we have Steve's mum Beverly, Jack's mum Sue and Lauren's dad Dave. Hi guys. <laughs> thanks for coming on the show. Not a problem. Yeah, thanks for having us. So am I right in assuming that none of you have seen your kids since they went to university? I've just had a phone call or two off of Steve. So this is a golden opportunity for all of you to see exactly what they've been up to. Now, all three students have been living together for over a week now in student halls, but they do have one more flatmate, a girl called Beth. I don't know if you've heard anything about Beth, but she'll be popping up in a few of the clips. Anyone nervous? Very. I just hope Lauren's behaving herself like she does at home. I never liked the idea of her going off to uni. Yeah, I didn't really want Steve to go away either, but I trust him. I think. Well, we'll find out if that trust has been misplaced in just a minute. The very first clip we've got is of Jack and Lauren doing some cooking. Lauren, cooking. <laughs> Have a laugh. <laughs> we set them a challenge to make themselves an omelette. See how well their survival instincts are kicking in. But we thought it'd be nice and simple. Apparently it's not. Let's have a look. Your task today is to make an omelette. How do you even make an omelette? I swear I've never, I've never made one before. How do you not know how to make an omelette? You're a woman, I really think. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Okay, so that was Jack and Lauren attempting to cook an omelette. What do we think? Sue, Dave? Didn't expect much more from Lauren, to be honest. She doesn't do much cooking at home? She doesn't do anything at home. I'm surprised she even found the kitchen. <laughs> I love it when parents have faith in their kids. Sue, what did you think? Well, he did better than Lauren, it must be said. Well, he's a cocky little thing, though, isn't he? He seemed pretty proud of his whisking abilities. He did. He does a bit of cooking at home, but not a lot. But I'm proud of him all the same. Although I think he could have given Lauren a bit more help, though. She needed a bit more guidance than he gave her. It's just some eggs. She should be able to do it herself by now. Well, at least we know they're not starving themselves, I suppose. Although I've been told those eggs were about three weeks old. Apparently they normally just eat super noodles. That's a student diet, though. When I was at uni, all I ate was beans on toast and cider. Nutritious. Speaking of the student diet, has anyone heard of neck nominations? No. Neck nominations is a new craze at the moment where you're nominated to down a drink or a pint of your choice. Why is that a craze all of a sudden? Well, generally, the pints aren't very nice. There's normally a lot of alcohol involved and they're filled up with things like mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, anything you like. But the grosser the drink, the better a video it makes. Oh dear. Is it safe? Well, it's debatable. But as it happens, Steve was given one of these neck nominations during the week that we were filming and we have his clip right here. I think I saw him post this on his Facebook. I didn't get round to watching it though. Excellent. Then we can get your genuine reaction live on camera. Oh, I'm scared. Spoiler alert, Steve was fine. But it still makes a pretty good video. Let's have a look. Some 
pot of sauce in. Don't be pussy. No, man, that's crazy. That's a matter of the Jack for being a little prick, and I also nominate Beth. You've got 24 hours, good luck. A pretty good effort by Steve, don't you think? That was disgusting. Why would anyone willingly do that? Well, it wasn't entirely willingly. He was nominated. Even so, he's out of his mind. This is the thing that everyone's doing. A lot of people have been doing it, yeah. It's all over the internet. Facebook, YouTube, all the platforms. That's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> You wouldn't have liked it if it was Lauren doing it. Lauren wouldn't do that. Only an idiot would do that. Are you calling my son an idiot? OK, so clearly this is something that a lot of people are doing at the moment. And evidently, Steve is now involved as well. Beverly, is there anything you'd like to say to Steve now that you've seen his video? Yes, it was a stupid thing to do. And it's lucky he didn't cause himself any damage, but that does not make him stupid. He's only 19. I had a job and a pregnant wife at 19. Ah, uh, we all make different life choices though, Dave. At the end of that video, you may have seen as well that Steve nominated Jack for the next neck nomination, which means he has 24 hours in which to complete his video. Sue, what do you think about that? It seemed a silly thing to do, but I don't think he would do anything that would cause him any harm. I don't think any of them would, really. Power to him. All right, so quite a range of emotions on the old neck nominations. Now, so far, we've been seeing all three students getting along very well, but they are still three strangers, all living under the same roof. There's bound to be a bit of tension. And we happen to catch one of these disagreements live on camera. Is it Lauren? She's always grumpy if she hasn't had enough sleep. <laughs> it's not Lauren. It's actually between Steve and Jack. They have a bit of a disagreement over the ladies. Let's have a look. Look, Jack, we all know you haven't got with anyone. Yeah, right, mate. I'd get more pussy than the cat, that. You're being serious, mate. Of course I am, bruv. You didn't even see the amount of numbers I got last night. Literally the amount of shit that comes out of your mouth, uncanny. Who do I get anywhere near you? While well, your mum does, and she's on the bottom of my list. Oh, hold on. My phone's ringing. Jack, it's the 90s. They want the mum joke back. Steve, man, your insights are lame. Go get a life. Jack, it's such a dick. No one even likes you. Go away. <laughs> you're right. Why am I even here? My phone will be buzzing next door like no tomorrow. I picked up gal damn numbers last night. Piss off, jagged weeb little f**k. F**k you, you prick. So maybe more of a clash of egos, perhaps? Oh, Jack's an odd lad. I'm glad Steve stood up for himself. What's wrong with him, though? Maybe just another situation of Jack loving himself a bit too much. Yeah, and Steve's clearly had enough already. <sighs> nah, it's just banter. They're just being lads. Boys will be boys. No, I hate that phrase. Well, they weren't exactly behaving like gentlemen. Do they not behave like this at home? Well, I didn't know Jack spoke about women like that. What did he call them? Gowden? Gowden, yes. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with him. Do all boys talk like that now? Well, apparently Jack does. Well, he never talks like that around me. Of course he doesn't talk like that around you. You're his mother. I'm telling you, they're just being lads and having a laugh. Well, he better speak to the Galden with a bit more respect, or he won't be getting anyone's numbers. But he's quite clearly a lady killer. Clearly. Mind, if they keep bickering, they won't have a very happy domestic environment. Ah, no, that is very true. But that's just another life lesson they're going through at the moment. Learning how to get along with people, even if they don't necessarily like them. Or think they're a dweeb. Well, at least Lauren's keeping her thoughts to herself. I wouldn't like to see her argue with anyone. Well, no. Lauren's not been involved in any disagreements this week. But she was involved in a little bit of gossip. She had some rather big news this week and she confided in Beth, the fourth housemate. What big news? 
Let's have a little look at the clip. Look, Biff, I ain't feeling right at the moment. What, do you feel ill or something? Basically, I worked out that I'd be on my period, but I haven't come on yet. And I've been having all these weird cravings, like f***ing pickled onions or something. How random is that? Wait, so you feel... And also, feel my boobs. Don't they feel bigger? They don't feel a bit swollen. So, do you think you're pregnant? Well, that who's the dad? Well, that's the thing, Biff. I ain't got a fucking clue. What are you gonna do? I think I might go and speak to my mum and see what she says. It's probably a good idea, babe. But what if, like, they made me do some pregnancy tests or saying on TV, babe? <laughs> they wouldn't do that, babe. I hope not. I tell you, Biff. <laughs> I'd be so pissed if that was me. Oh my god. If you're pregnant, babe. You're not even going to be able to get pissed. No, nah, babe, I'm probably not even pregnant, but I'm still going to drink, though. Hashtag YOLO. OK, so, an interesting turn of events. I'm outraged. That's not true, is it? No, it's not true. I can confirm Lauren is not pregnant. Not the point. Who behaves like that? Well, she's young. We've all been there. Just not all of us have it on camera and then shown to our dads. Yeah, I mean, it's a horrible situation to be in, but it happens to a lot of women. The main thing is she's not actually pregnant. She didn't even know who the father was. Well, boys being boys. No, that does not count when it's got my daughter involved. Can I call her? I'm calling her straight after this. Now, Dave, we need to be careful. Remember, these are situations that a lot of students are going to go through behind closed doors. Steve, Jack and Lauren have all agreed to go through it live on TV. Oh, God. At least we know she's having fun at university. It's a bit worrying, though, that she thought she might be pregnant and yet she still wanted to get drunk. And what's YOLO? You only live once. And why did she hashtag it? It's what you use on Twitter. You put a hashtag in front of certain words or phrases. For example, if people want to tweet us, they use the hashtag refreshers. Hashtag regretting it now? Well, exactly. Speaking of Twitter, let's have a look at some of the tweets that we've been receiving through the show. At MLA says, OMG, grow a pair, Steve. Sorry about that, Beverly. At Steph with an H, Jack's kind of hot. Not bad, not bad. At Ericum, watching them idiots cook was so tedious. Sorry about that. And Johnny D, how do you mess up an omelette? Very good question. We should get Johnny on next week. Now, Remember, if you want to be involved in next week's show, all you have to do is send us a tweet with the hashtag refreshers. Well, thanks for coming on the show, guys, and having a little look at what your kids have been up to. No, no problem. problem. You've all been fantastic, and so too have Steve, Jack, and Lauren. I'm afraid that's all the time we've got, so we'll see you again next week. <laughs>